Hi, I'm Andy Nebreski. Welcome to the On the Water Test Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing a little test with an air fryer. I've heard a lot about these. Uh, this is actually the Power Air Fryer XL, as seen on TV. And it finally became possible to enjoy the crispy, crunchy fried food you love guilt-free. Millions were sold, and the five-star reviews say it all. People love the Power Air Fryer. They're pretty cool tools. Um, the whole point is that you're cooking your food with hardly any oil at all. And according to the infomercial, it comes out tasting just like real fried fish. So essentially, this is a very small convection oven. It's got a fryer basker inside. Um, there's an internal heating unit, and there's also a powerful fan in there, which really circulates the air quickly. And that is supposedly how you get the nice crispy fried effect. So we're gonna do some white perch fillets. They've all been breaded the same way. We're gonna do some in the air fryer, some traditionally fried, and we're also gonna try doing some in the convection oven. Do a little test, see how they all come out, and see what the guys think. All right, we have some uh, white perch fillets. These were just caught out of Lake Winnipesaukee up in New Hampshire yesterday. I'm just gonna cut those down into smaller portions. And then we're gonna do an egg. We're going to season our fillets with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're going to set up two plates. One's going to get some flour. Let's see if I can dump this out of here without making a mess. And we're going to spike our flour with a good amount of Old Bay seasoning. I was reading up online, I looked at about five or six different recipes. Some of them called for panko, some called for just plain breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna go like 50-50, do a little blend. Sometimes when I do this, I'll throw a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there, but because the whole point of air frying is to make it healthy, we're gonna skip the Parmesan cheese. So first the fish goes in the flour, make sure it is well coated. So after the flour, we go into the egg. After the egg, we go into the breadcrumbs. We're gonna kind of press that in there, make sure that it gets really well coated. And we do it all over again. A little flour, a little egg. And drip off any excess into the crumbs. And after I bread the fillets, I always like to pop them in the refrigerator and let them sit in there for like 15, 20 minutes. And what that does kind of draws out some of the moisture in the fish and it really helps the breadcrumbs stick better. So a lot of times you get fried fish and all the breading falls off. If you put it in the fridge for a little while, it helps prevent that. All right, here we go. So we're doing the battle of the fryers. We've got the air fryer here. We got our traditional fryer here. We're gonna load this up just with some regular old canola oil. And these fillets are pretty thin, so I only need about a quarter of an inch of oil in there. Plug this guy in and we're gonna set this to about 365 degrees. And now we need to figure out what's going on with this air fryer. I've never used one of these before, so bear with me. Um, but I did watch the online tutorial. So we're going to set this up as high as it goes, which I believe is 400 degrees. Looks like we're in business. We've got a spinning wheel. It's making a noise. And supposedly you don't need to really let these preheat too long. They heat up very quickly. So we'll just let that sit for about four or five minutes. Probably going to take the oil about the same time to come up to temp. And we already have our oven going. I have that set to 450 degrees on convection bake. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna need these a very light spray of cooking oil. Um, some people said you don't even need to put any oil on it if you put it in the air fryer. Other reviews I said said it definitely makes it crispier. So a little bit of olive oil cooking spray is not gonna kill any of us. So we'll just give that just a light touch. And I'm gonna start out by doing a little test batch in the oven here. We have this convection baking at 450 degrees. Those are probably gonna take about 12 minutes. We'll set a timer so we don't forget. I'm gonna make sure we give these guys a little bit of space in here. We don't want them touching at all. Pop that back in, and I read a couple different recipes. Some call for cooking as long as 20 minutes in the air fryer, others called for 10. So I'm gonna flip these about five minutes into it, 
and we'll take a look and we'll check them in 10 minutes and they might need a little bit longer. We'll see how they look. So this is a Power Air Fryer XL. These run about 85 bucks. You can buy them online. Um, there's certainly a number of different air fryers on the market. There's some that go up over $300. And it's like anything else in life, you know, you kind of get what you pay for. So you know, the, the better one, the more expensive ones do, from what I've heard, do a better job. Um, this is more of an entry level model. Um, so we'll see how it goes and see what the results are. And we have our oil here is ready to go. That's at 365 degrees. Carefully drop these guys in. And we could certainly do these on the stove top in a cast iron skillet. Um, but I really like the control an electric fryer gives you. So this has a thermostat in it. And it's going to maintain that temperature constantly. So when you put the fish in, the oil cools down. Um, this has the thermostat. It's going to bring the temp back up and Keep it consistently going at 365 degrees. And these fillets are from White Perch. They're pretty thin, so they're gonna cook really quick. Um, I think they're really only gonna need probably about two minutes aside in the traditional fryer. Take a look. Yeah, those are already getting nice and brown. And anytime I fry fish, I never put it on paper towels when I take it out. I always put it on a metal drying rack like that. And if you put it on paper towels, what happens is it can tend to steam from below and it kind of makes that breading fall off. Rotate these guys. Pop those back in for a couple more minutes. These guys are looking kind of sad. <laughs> Give them a flip. They're getting pretty close too. Hey, the taste testers are here. Come on, stand. Jimmy's not much of a chef, but he sure can eat. Oh, wow. Is that a rumalada? Uh, it's really, I had made Thousand Island last night for turkey Reuben, so I just kind of spiked that with hot sauce. Little Winnie says that you made Thousand Island, where most people just buy it out of a, a salad dressing container. Oh, I don't even know what it is. It's homemade. It's mayonnaise, homemade. it's ketchup, it's relish. Essentially, a little vinegar. All right, so these guys have been in there about 12 minutes now, and they definitely look done, maybe a little bit overdone, but they appear to be nice and crispy. They don't have that same kind of golden brown color that you get on the traditionally fried fish, but they certainly do seem nice and crispy. And I believe given the putting the cooking spray on there did give those a little bit more of that golden brown color. So if I ever do this again, I will use the cooking spray. I'm going <laughs> traditional fried. You know, it's traditional fried is going to be better. Um, <laughs> but the whole point of this is there's a lot of oil in that. You don't realize how much it absorbs when it's cooking. But this is certainly if you're like me and you're a little bit fat and you're trying to lose weight and you like fried fish, um, this is certainly why I was intrigued by the whole thing. So here we have oven baked fish. This was done in a traditional convection oven, 450 degrees for about 12 minutes. This is our air fried fish. And here we have our beautiful fried fish, which is not as healthy, but looks better. So we're ready to give this a test. I'm just gonna sprinkle on a little bit of salt on these guys. There's such a, a pronounced difference between the three techniques. It almost looks like a flag with stripes. What nationality is this, Andy? This is American. Definitely not, <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not turkey. All right, the moment of truth, boys. Dig in. Eddie? So far, so good. I'd eat at this restaurant again. It's good. It, it's This is the air fried fish. It's certainly crispy. So if I were just, so I've, I've taken one bite of every one. If I were just eating the air fried one, that'd be great. But when you compare it directly to the traditionally fried one, it's kind of worlds away. The, so the air fryer one, and this is something I wouldn't notice unless I was doing a direct comparison like this. It's a little bit drier, I think. It is a little bit dry. And I think since there were such thin fillets, the fish is probably a little bit overcooked in that. Whereas those cooked in the air fryer for about 12 minutes in the traditional electric frying pan, they were probably only in there four minutes total. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it really cooks 
the fish really quick and kind of keeps it from getting overcooked. I started with the oven one and I ended with the actual fryer, deep fryer, electric fryer, and that's really moist. I was trying to avoid that word. <laughs> <laughs> so we all gonna rate the, the most favorite. Mine was the air fryer. It had the best crunch. Is this the air fryer one? It yes. Is. I like that one too. Probably mm -hmm. the best. Oven. Chicken. Fryer. Chicken. It's <laughs> chicken. You're uh, right. Puts the placebo. <laughs> chicken? No, it's just What is it? Fish? All right, so the verdict is in. We did the fish three different ways. It was prepared all identically. Uh, we did some in the oven, we did the air fryer, and we did traditional fried. I like the traditional fried one best. Um, I thought it had more flavor. Uh, but the air fryer was not that far off. It definitely came out nice and crispy. Um, and I could see it being a good way to you know, save some calories and lose a little bit of weight. Uh, the one that was done in the oven was my least favorite. Um, it didn't quite have the color and the crispiness that the air fryer delivered. But we did have some people that actually preferred the air fryer, Eddie. Yep, I definitely like the crispness of it. It wasn't dry. Uh, it wasn't as moist as the traditional fryer, but that's my pick. Jimmy? Yeah, I'm not going to be rushing out to buy an air fryer for uh, fish anytime <laughs> soon, but I'm going to stick with the uh, traditional soaking in oil method and... Yeah, I don't mind being a little chubby. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Matt? I definitely traditional oil for yeah. sure. Right. Yeah, like you were saying, I don't think the oven had quite the flavor. Yeah. Um, nor the crispiness of the air fryer. Yeah. The air fryer also didn't have quite the flavor as the oil. So. Yeah, I think the oil definitely does give it a little more flavor, and I thought the fish was more tender because it wasn't cooked as long. It was cooked for a shorter period of for time. For sure. Adam, what do you think? Um, I like the air fryer personally, but I would go for either the oil or the air fryer. Um, both of them are very delicious. So, so yeah, so we got a split jury here. Um, do have some fans of the air fryer. But so, not really fans of the oven, right? The oven was the, the clear loser. <laughs> 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 Which I kind of had a feeling it would be, but it was... You know, I, I was really curious what is the difference between a small convection oven, which essentially the air fryer is, versus a traditional convection oven and I think the amount of circulating air in the air fryer definitely made it come out crispier.